So it looks like we got some brand new gameplay footage of Ty the Tasmanian Tiger, the HD remaster for modern consoles. Let's discuss it right now. In my Quick shout out to Rosie, or it looks like Sakura Art this is a fan of Metal Duckles that they drew, and Metal Duckles looks kind of creepy here actually, but I'm really digging it. His eyes just stare into your soul, you know? So it, it's really, really cool and a little bit scary, and I'm just loving it. He's got those hearts in his eyes in particular, which kind of makes me think of myself when I saw Rehydrate reviewed. So <laughs> there we go. But thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It. Anyway, hello there beautiful human. My name is Ryder CX. Welcome to my channel where today I've got a slightly different topic here for today compared to other videos. And so I've covered quite a few nostalgic franchises on this channel. I've covered a lot of Sonic stuff. I've covered a lot of Crash Bandicoot stuff. I'm covering the brand new SpongeBob Rehydrated game. You know, I just feel like I'm covering so many of like the classic platformers that I grew up with and that you grew up. And so I decided to sort of take this year to expand my horizons and try to cover as many of these as possible to kind of keep you in the scope of like all these different franchises because I feel like platformers have been having a bit of a revival recently. There's so many like 3D platformers coming out um, this year and the year before and it's just making me so happy because I love these games as a kid and they kind of died down for a little bit and um, once like the shooters and really started taking over the whole gaming industry. So it's just really cool to see that these games are making a comeback and one of those games that are contributing to it is tied to Tasmanian Tiger. Tiger, the HD remaster for modern consoles. And so if you all don't know, Tide the Tasmanian Tiger was a 3D platformer that was released like mid 2000s, I think. And it's gained such a cult following that the original developers launched a Kickstarter to bring the game to modern consoles. Initially, they were targeting only the Nintendo Switch, but now they've also added on the PS4 and Xbox One due to the Kickstarter reaching stretch goals. And so obviously there's a lot of people that are for this, they are really excited about this port. And this is something that I I've been kind of keeping an eye on. I have never played Tide of Tasmanian Tiger before, but it does seem like the kind of game that I would really enjoy. And I'm just kind of like really happy to see all these different franchises back then coming back. You know, like Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrate, for example, is the number one thing that I can think of that's in a similar situation. And so I did get to play a little bit of the game um, on the GameCube and I really liked it. And so I actually decided to stop playing it though because I want to experience the remaster as my original play through the game so i'm putting the game to rest for now i'm really looking forward to trying out the game as a remaster for the very first time so the purpose of this video is that recently developers released an update on kickstarter that's open to everyone so unfortunately i was kind of dumb and decided not to back it when it was first like open so i don't have access to those intricate updates unfortunately i wouldn't share them anyway because it's locked to people that contribute to kickstarter but they released this update for everyone to see and they they have a few different things in there that I thought was interesting. The main thing that I wanted to point out is they released gameplay of the game running on the Switch. And so what you're seeing on screen right now is footage of the game running on the Nintendo Switch and it looks really smooth, it looks really solid, doesn't look like there's any performance issues. Now granted, they cut the clips a little bit so you don't see the same clip for more than say 10 to 30 seconds. And so it's hard to judge if this game is going to continue running like that, but from the looks of it, it looks like the game runs perfectly fine fine. It looks pretty pristine and clear. I'm really excited to get this on the Nintendo Switch. I think it's such a great game to just play on the go, you know, just jump in and out of it like I do with a lot of other platformers. So I'm really excited about that. Some other things that they had in the update is they had this audio comparison video which showed that they're adding all these little sound effects and such to enhance the experience. And so here's the video that they released which shows that the original game didn't have these sound effects, but the new remastered version has some added sound effects to add a little bit more of a aura to the game, I guess, making it seem a little bit more surreal or just like more involved. I don't know. I have run out of words in the English dictionary to use to describe this. So maybe I'll come up with something in the future.
And so the game is shaping up quite nicely and it's targeted to come out in Q1 of 2020. And so it should be coming any day now. I'm not sure. I don't remember them announcing a release date specifically. So we'll just have to see. But as far as I know, their target is Q1 2020. So it's either February or March at this point. I'm really excited about this. I hope you are too. If you all want to buy this game, then I recommend pre-ordering it right now because you can get it for a discounted price of 25 bucks, no matter which system you get it on. But if you wait till after the game is released the price is gonna jump up so if you want this game pre-order it now and get that discounted price and enjoy the game when it first comes out but yeah that's pretty much everything i have for today let me know if you're a fan of tiger tasmanian tiger if you all show a little bit of interest in this game then i'll continue covering it i'm not really sure what the interest in it is i feel like i got a few comments when the game was first announced of people wanting me to cover this game but because my life was an absolute wreck i just could not handle it but now that i have a bit of a system going on i think i can handle some more or intense coverage of multiple games so if y'all are interested in it then please let me know and i'll keep track of this game and maybe even review it when it comes out but okay thank you so much everyone please give this video a thumbs up you like it subscribe to my channel if you like videos like these want to see more in the future follow me on twitter or twitch and join my discord server the spongy garden special shout out to reese gaming andrew coughlin team rival sonic gamer and desiree webb these are my patron slash youtube members if you'd like to become a patron or youtube member get access to a whole bunch of different perks and please check out the links in the description box below but all right, this is Riders, riding out.